Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Dimorphodon. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. Dimorphodon was one of the few flying dinosaurs that lived during the early stages of Jurassic era approximately 195 to 190 millions years ago. In Greek the name means two-form tooth, because Dimorphodon had two distinctive types of teeth, which is rare among reptiles. Dimorphodon diet consisted mostly of small lizards, mammals and fish. It was speculated that it was an insectivore, due to his weak jaw muscles, that could close quickly, but with little force or tooth penetration, however such theory was disproved after closer examination of its dental microware. Dimorphodon had an adult body length of 1 meter long, with a 1.45 meter wingspan. The tail of Dimorphodon was long and consisted of 30 vertebrae. The first five or six were short and flexible, but the remainder gradually increased in length and were stiffened by elongated vertebral processes. Wingspan is relatively short, because for example Golden Eagle has the same length, yet his wingspan is up to 2.3 meters. Dimorphodon had a large, bulky skull approximately 23 centimeters in length, whose weight was reduced by large openings separated from each other by thin bony partitions. Its structure, reminiscent of the supporting arches of a bridge, prompted Richard Owen to declare that, as far as achieving great strength from lightweight materials was concerned, no vertebra, was more economically constructed. First Dimorphodon fossil was found in England in 1828, in a place now called Jurassic Coast. Further diggings in this area uncovered additional species of Dimorphodon. However in 1998 an additional species was found in La Boca Formation in Tamaulipas, Mexico. It is believed that it mainly inhabited coastal regions, which might be reason for a varied diet. Recent studies show that Dimorphodon was rather a poor flyer, due to his proportionally short wings, in relation to the body, and its skeleton offered very little gliding potential. In life it probably relied on frantic short flights in the same manner as modern chicken, only taking to the air as a last resort. 